and welcome to the Joy Carter Chat Show. Well, today I've come all the way to Lincolnshire to meet an amazing lady. She is a professional image coach. So, oh my gosh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm going to get ready to meet the one and only Diane Miller. Do you know, Joy, what really made me want to be a stylist was all those years ago when I was a little girl and I used to go queue up at what was called jumble sales then. Now they're vintage shops, but they were jumble sales and I would queue for ages and I used to have a really big dressing up box and then I'd get all my friends in the neighbourhood and I'd get them all to dress up. So I think it was all inborn in me to be a stylist and from then I've always, I've always loved clothes always look clothes from the second hand clothes from my mum taking me off to what used to be c and a then um i just used to love whatever was coming out in fashion i've always loved fashion mm. so that was the early beginnings of it all <laughs> <laughs> so you know have you got i've got to ask you this what's your what's the main if you, if you could only save one piece from your wardrobe what would it be what would it be one piece from my wardrobe Okay, many, many years ago, I was walking past a shop and it was an Oxfam shop in Ashby Scunthorpe, not Oxfam shop on King's Road. And I saw this dress, well, it was a dress and jacket, evening dress and jacket. And uh, I went in, I thought that material's gorgeous. It fitted me, it was beautiful. Never thought anything else about it. Didn't have the occasion to wear it. Put it in my wardrobe with a lot of my other second hand things that I had, second hand then not vintage. And um, I was in Harvey Nicks in Leeds many years after and I was on the designer floor and going past Poochie and I saw the, um, it, it was like a signature on this Poochie dress and I thought that, that signature's on the dress that I've got. Um, went home, looked, and it wasn't poochy how it's written now. It was in the signature and it was all hand-stitched in it. I paid £10 for that. <laughs> and I managed to wear it on the telly. And that <laughs> came in handy. And it was me 10 quid dress when they were all wearing their designer stuff. <laughs> I strutted around in my 10 quid dress from about 10 years ago. Yeah. Styling image coaching, well, it combines two as a coach. Um, I've trained in life coaching. And um, as you hear from my background, is, is styling. Um, coaching is really coaching out of that person, of who they are, of what they want. What do they want in their wardrobe? And it, it's also, it, it's great when you are a star and you'll have your own stylist around you. But it's also for the ordinary lady, the ordinary lady who maybe gets to a certain age. I know when I hit 50, you can think, well, can I still wear that? Can't I wear that? But again, like I said earlier, it's all from within. So I will sit down with ladies from all ages and all backgrounds. And first of all, start getting to the nitty gritty. We, we look at um, different images. We, we look at who they admire because that could be um, a trigger. Um, if they look at a certain celebrity, what I don't say is go try and be like that celebrity. It's, a, it's <laughs> working with what you've got and I do work with young girls and it's encouraging them to be who they are and again I harp on from the inside. You've only got to look at Adele, um, mm. fabulous girl who you can see that out of her pores she mm. is herself and she may not be size six but she's beautiful mm -hmm. and it's being able mm. to show these young girls that hey um it, it isn't always mm. about being stick thin if they if they looked at these models before they got in front of the camera took away the hair extensions you know took away the airbrushing took away this and took away that it they, they need to see that um and it can be quite dangerous 
can be quite dangerous for, for young girls to latch on to some of this celebrity lifestyle. So what, what did you think of Carl Langefeld's comments about Adele when he basically said, you know, you're plump, basically. What, what do you think of those comments? <sighs> what do I think about those comments? I think, do they do it for effect? Because that's all pe it, that put him in the papers. That's what people don't want to hear. Um, so Karl Lagerfeld, you know about it, I know about it, and everybody does. So what does it do? Oh, Karl Lagerfeld, it puts him there in the spotlight again. So you know, no, you know, bad publicity is better than no publicity for them. Yeah, his yeah. career is probably going a bit down there, so we needed to be <laughs> Ooh, plumpest. Plumpest. <laughs> <laughs> plumpest. Yeah, plumpest. <laughs> Your plump comment, we'll get that one out of the bag. Instant front page, introduce me to the pride of your wardrobe. I need to make this dress because I am just absolutely, oh. Your um, it's, it's written different within the label. It's there made in Italy, 100% uh, pure silk. Very Sienna Miller, isn't it? Oh. Very Sienna Miller or Kate Moss. Um, very in now of, of, of what's coming through, um, but a beautiful piece, beautiful piece of, uh, of artwork, and so I won't ever let it go. And sometimes it fits me and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but if you look all here, and this is what, where I found it, they've, it's got, um, every so often, it's got the, um, the signature of, oh. of Emilio. Look at that. Look at that. And Emilio Pucci there, look. Look at that. Copyright. 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 There. Yeah, so that <laughs> is, you know, that, that's a, a beautiful garment. I mean, really, a beautiful piece. You should never, ever throw. You should keep those yeah. things forever because they're part of you, aren't they, Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. You know, um, and that's what I think that's a shame when people do just chuck stuff out. I've thrown yeah. stuff out before. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? Yeah. That dress meant something. Okay, yeah. it's not in fashion, so then until I understood fashion a bit more. Yeah. But I chucked stuff out just because I thought it's old, yeah. get rid of it. And now mm. I'm thinking, now I'm back round the bins yeah. going, <laughs> I'll have that dress back, love. How much was it? So for one about 20, you crazy, you know. <laughs> it is they don't like. And if they don't like that particular part of their body, I'll say, what do you like? There's always something, a part of the body that you do. And I say, well, let, let's focus on that. And let's forget about the other bit. You can always camouflage, you know, there's, mm. uh, you can always camouflage those bits that you don't like and just, you know, bring into the fore the stuff that mm. you put, the, the, the piece of you that, that you like about you. Um, and we don't hate everything about ourselves, but when people hate their clothes and hate everything about themselves, there's usually something more than what they see in the mirror. It's, it's usually a little bit further within. Do you do any personal styling? Like if anyone's watching this and they wanted to get in touch with you, do you, do you style people personally as well? Yes, I do. Yeah, and I do personal styling. Um, if you want to look at what I do, um, I do have a website and it is www.diane-miller.co.uk and that gives a little bit of my background as well. Um, so yeah, I like to deal with, I like to do groups, but I, I, I really do enjoy one-to-one. -one. Do you know what? I really hope you've enjoyed meeting Diane because we can learn so much from our friends and from people that we meet. And fashion and styling say so much about who we are as people. So do keep watching, do keep meeting people, do keep experimenting in your wardrobe because I think that's really important in today's world to try and experiment and be who you are born to be. See you next time. <laughs>